Hi there, Andrew here, and today we play some more Humankind together with Rule. In the last episode, we have done a massive exploitation of the new world. Uh, luckily, luckily, really, no um, city-states started spawning around here, so it seems really that we have the full control of this continent. This is amazing. But there is obviously also a big issue related to that, and in particular, the issue is that our um, influence is now negative. It has been a mistake of mine. I can't uh, can't hide it. But on the other end, I believe that I will be able to reverse this issue and really make this place uh, fantastic and uh, super prosperous and. Uh, I will create a gap between this civilization and the other neighbors and enemies that it will be basically impossible for them to catch us anymore. And, and I think that this is just wonderful. We are also almost jumping into the new era. We have the three stars of uh, um, ex <laughs> expansion, which is our top um, Ever star, we might get very quickly also the scientific one. Uh, we will absolutely get the second agrarian star and the second builder star, and then we can move over, move on. Okay. Talking about uh, technologies now, we take guilds and then we go on the gunpower. Warfare, and when, then we move to the movable type phase. So, as you can see now, we have only a penalty of 370 points, influence points every turn. So, our influence is now positive again, and that's just enough. That's just enough, guys, to say, Right, we can, we can keep it. Kal is going to absorb uh, Yildun, or maybe Lothal will do it. Yeah, Lothar will do it um, while I am going to take control of this internal part of the new world so that this is going to be ours and no one else will claim it. Fine. Here I built some industry. I want to push an industry again. And I can enter in a new era. I say remind me later because I want to check once again uh, if I can get quickly some other stars. Yeah, sure, with science. In a few turns I will have a scientific star and I want to grab it. Friend. Kerma in the meantime has done an omelet. Uh, we could create now a religious quarter and uh, Moinodaro can and now build the second army. I think I have to check if I can power up the power of the army here. No, I think that I did everything what was necessary. So two alabards, uh, two knights and two uh, crossbowmen. This is going to be the next army that we draft. And now we have also the great Moscow Genève. Stop. We take the control of this territory and we have a word it accomplished. We conquered the continent Lira. Um, I'm going to conquer also Ekatompilos, so I will have also the other deed and I will have two continents on my side. I think I will do it with the with the army that I am building here. And you can, as you can see, this army has already some experience. All right. Good. And uh, okay, let's get uh, let, let, let's go to the naval artillery because we are unlocking the scientific star uh, earlier. I'm not attaching any territory here, not yet. Because first I want to uh, be in a new era 
with an expansionist civilization so or culture i would say that's more correct i think <laughs> with an expansionist culture so i can get immediately a bunch of stars perfect Good. Oh, wait a minute. I could also buy, uh, build five districts. I think it's going to be super fast considering the amount of cities that I have. So one, two, uh, three, okay. Yeah, sure, sure. I will wait for the scientific star, but also for the building star before moving to the next era. And I keep refusing any sort of diplomatic approach from the other civilization. Now I am on my solo rush uh, into the victory. So maybe Rapa can build uh, an hamlet. Yeah, there are a few places where we can have some advantage. Menodaro can have a very quick. Um, look at this. I I never do. I never do uh, market quarters. Uh, let's do. Let's do it. Constantinople now has 225 industry. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? It's, it's, it's a lot. It is a lot, really. And now we have another artillery. Perfect. Scientist and Builder Star achieved 10,700 points. Let's move to the next uh, culture. And if I want to take someone expansionist, I can take the Brits, which are giving me also 10 money per number of uh, territories attached on capital and 10 science, all right? Or I can take the Russians. They give me a uh, plus fortification on city and outpost or stick to the Ottomans. Okay, if I pick the Italians, on the other hand, I will have more stability, more influence and more influence per trader, researcher. Yeah, but I will not need this influence. But I like the Italians, you know. If you get the Argentinians, you will win the World Cup. No, I, I think I need to do something different. I'm going to get the French. The French, I, I think they're just overpowered uh, with this plus 10% on science. Uh, and I'm going to start really um, a different strategy where all the new world would be built in order to produce science. And I'm going to adopt this. Take the friends. The Frenches will be my friends. Okay, I, I definitely uh, will get immediately the expansionist star, which are not my main stars, I am aware, but it doesn't really matter. I just use the last uh, chance that I have to build my Turkish uh, well, Ottoman. Yeah. Special building and now I turn into France. Fun fact, all the new world now has a Turkish name. <laughs> all right, we are in the new era, in the industrial era, um, and we need to work on science, of course, sure. Lothar is getting attached, so we have the first expansionist star. And now we take Constantinople, we are getting this and this. And then we take Burusa, and we get this, and this, and then we take Baghdad. We have one, two, and the third one will go to Constantinople again. Wonderful. And look at this, I have already three expansion star. Massive, really. Moenodaro, Lothal, everything now is moving into the direction where I try to focus on science. Plus 61 science, plus 61 with one building, 
61. Wait, 13, that, that sounds that sounds more reasonable, does it? Good. Wow. Wow. It has been really a big, uh, a big, um, a great move to pick that tenet that allowed me to jump in the new world before it was uh, discovered by my enemies. Oh, wait a minute. I can give something to Constantinople and something to Bulusa, so there are actually two territories that I have to uh, increase, um, include. So, how much science are we producing? 2,300 something. Alright. Give religion. Nah, because it costs too much. I need to expand my borders. I need to expand my borders. Okay, we have already Builder Star. Um. That is expanding, and I, I should have here, I think, a new army, right? The Legion Six. And with this Legion, I'm going to uh, attack this city. Probably we need another one here. They're peaceful, but I am not, and that's a problem. This is the problem, guys, because if they're peaceful, but, but I'm not, they're dying. And it's so crazy uh, to see how our units are overpowered compared to their units. Because uh, we have fire, uh, firearms now. And the round... I think I, I don't know if I would be able to wipe out their their city and then found just an outpost. I will try to do that. Uh, just because I want to have the full control of my continent and get more points. Let's see. They're attacking with, with spears, you know. I mean. All right, done. This is also giving us a, a very, very valuable source of uh, military points. Sixty-one round. The written word was pre. Okay. And it seems that Gutenberg visited us, right? <laughs> Nope, always refusing. And now we are closing ourselves. We are not discussing with them anymore. All right. Now the only thing that I'm going to build in my cities is the exhibition hall so that my science production, my science output will skyrocket. Okay. I go to the patronage right away. This is really, uh, really, really useful. And then I'm going to research all what I can. And I refuse again. Okay, wow, they are a lot. They're weak though. But I don't think, I don't know if I attacked the same civilization or uh, some other independent people. I, I don't know. I didn't get it really. Okay, Pars is gonna have some food shortage whatsoever. Doesn't matter.
Okay, uh, yes, this is an hostile attack to the independent people and I'm going to do an instant race solution. So now we have unlocked a military star. We lost one unit and they're gonna lose everything now. Okay, great. Okay. It's impressive to see how this city uh, develops so fast. Twenty seven pop, twenty four, twenty seven. The new world is really blooming, and uh, that's because of our settlers. Uh, those cities started and they were already very, very rich. That's the reason why. And now we uh, accomplished also this new deed. Uh, we are probably having again. Um, oh, I can't remember how to do that. I think, but I might be wrong. I think that I can just pillage the city myself. I think, but I have to. I have to look at that. I'm not sure 100%. I'm really not 100% sure. Yep. Eh? The Falling Empire will have grievances against you. What are you saying? This is gonna be... This is my city. I am going to destroy it. That's funny. Really? Grievances? How much science do we have now? 3,500! Boom! Oh. That's a big number. Wait a minute, let's buy this uh, all, but I see that back that... No, 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 okay. Now I have to check where I can do my... Yes, sir. Hamburgris Manufactory. Plus fame, stability and money for every quarter. Boom, yes. Then I want to have also the Manufactory for lead, which is giving me... They're going to give me amazing, amazing bounty. Really, one and the next one, let's see. Then we can get here the porcelain manufacturing. You have no idea how strong we are gonna be after we have those manufacturers. I will show you, I will show you. For example, porcelain is giving me 15% money on all cities and gold is giving me 10% money on all the cities. We are gonna skyrocket from now on. And we have control of so many resources. All right. Okay, in fact that can do Mercury, which I think is going to give us 10% science in all cities. My goodness. When those things will be um, completely done, I think that my science will be much higher. How do you do? And done. Now we have the territory. And uh, I will annex this territory to Kerma. Easy. Let's have an amulet here. Rafa didn't build uh, an arbor yet. Now we do it for the first time. Uh, 
and Baghdad. Uh, um, we don't have to do that. Next one. We have an agrarian star, and now we produce 4,780 science. I think that my neighbors cannot uh, cannot reach this level. They cannot. Can I already annex this? Yes, I can already attach it. So, this army will stay in Kerma, this army will go back to Lothal, and Moino Daro will probably build another army, without probably, with uh, full Janissaries and a couple of heavy, heavy cavalry units. Very good. Perfect. Okay, we can enter in a new era, um, the modern one. I, I would say remind me later because I didn't unlock yet even the first scientific star. Why that? Because I'm extremely behind and, and I didn't focus too much on science. So now I can do it. And honestly, I mean, I have a lot of time to do that. I have a lot of time. And now we can also get the first wonder of the modern ages plus five science plus five percent science per alliance on empire and ten percent on a capital we get the big ben right away look at this guy yep we build it antical starts have perfect 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 everybody now is working on this all right Okay. Okay, we are starting having some osmosis that which will influence our uh, cards. At this point, I don't think that this is going to have uh, any dramatic consequence. Look at this. I mean, that's a big empire. Let's focus all our production on the Big Ben so we can push uh, on science. Refuse, refuse. Boom. And now all our cities will be free and the Big Ben will be built. And we will claim another wonder. So, tech screen. Finally, we finished the technology of the era four. And we can start the technology of the era five when we could actually enter already the next era. I mean, that's bad. Uh, I need to go to, towards something that gives me another city, probably the urban, urban planning. This is the B line that I want. And we claim the Eiffel Tower, which is giving plus industry per population on all city. Yes. Uh, we can do it in Tikal and all then now all the other cities are doing the Eiffel Tower and then I'm going to check how much science I have left and I think it's gonna be a very nice surprise boom 6192 that's great that's great that's great we are catching up quite fast now we're all our technologies and our <laughs> I think this game is one of course uh, because the second in place has a 7,800 points. I just needed to do one quick war and be very fast at the beginning. That, that has been the, the trick, the secret. Cool. Nationhood researched. Conscription center. This is also interesting. But I don't want and I don't think that I will try to um, go on war again because it's not convenient anymore. I don't think that it would be useful. I 
I just build some influence here and there, where possible. And now my city should just build everything. Until we don't have another wonder to build, I think that uh, the city should be everything what we can. And then we boost them all, we put them under City of Liberty, all right. Put it in Parsa. Uh, great tape in the fog, regulate. Why not? We can enter a new era, I am fully aware. But I don't want to do it now. Let's work now on the third wonder of the industrial age, the Statue Lightning of Liberty. In a bottle. And now we have electricity. We can get the coal generators that are giving us no, we have them, plus food, plus money, plus everything. And we have also the points for discovering electricity. That's cool. That's really cool. All right. I mean, I think that I reached a point in the game where uh, I I should have to fuck up massively uh, in order to, to lose. Um, let me take it up. Uh, and use the collective mind so I can boost my scientific output as much as possible. The Swiss are now independent and they are asking us a treaty. Give me also some trade so I can buy the dyes. Very good, thank you. That, which means that the dark green are now losing the grip. They are third, they have never been a, a real threat. Good. And now look, they are very cheap. All the first uh, uh, technologies are costing two turns and the other three turns. So we're gonna get them all. We're producing now 8,800 8, 8, science per turn. Okay, now every city, every city is going to have the full block of um, improvements whatsoever because I want them to be all fully equipped with everything from walls to science even if it takes one turn to get one piece of gold I want to have it because I'm just I'm just rushing to the victory and I queue everything now I mean at this level of difficulty I wasn't expecting to find myself in such an easy situation right now but uh, the discovery of the new world uh, definitely changed a lot of things here. Definitely a lot. So you see that now we are almost getting to, uh, to the 52 technologies. And the first, and the first scientific star. But we are getting even more uh, points in terms of uh, influence because we are just two cities above the limit uh, Let's go to colonization and get cities on a foreign colony uh, a continent. That's very important Oh, I don't really care Okay, glorify the greatest. It's giving me patriotic, celebrating your stability, the more plus industry. And now we have coal and now we have rail assisted construction. We can build railways. And we can claim a new wonder.
No, not yet. <laughs> it seems that I just jumped to the um, top wonder and I completely forgot the wonders uh, of the previous era. <laughs> I completely forgot them. But I think that I will be able to claim uh, one of those later on. <laughs> My bad, sorry for that. Let's play the last turn for this episode. No, not yet. I think I think I can claim a wonder in the next turn. I want to see them. I want to see them because I, I really think that I... Yeah, sure. I got the top and I didn't take this one. Um, I might take the... Uh, let me see. Yeah, the top uh, the top copy palace is uh, giving 100% production towards any shared project. I was wondering why I don't have the palace. Why? And I'm going to build it probably with the next city that will be free. Good. Ladies and gentlemen, I thank you very much for watching. I hope that you had a good time. And if you liked the video, please consider leaving a thumbs up, thumbs up and a comment. And see you next time.